hi guys welcome to my channel the agenda for today's video is to install harbor 2.10 and given it is 1.27 using its official home chart and we'll be exposing the service as node port and also we'll see how to fix the harbor login error 403 method not allowed so for this video the pre-installed components would be kubectl kds cluster helm curve and also we uh, you need to configure harbor domain with ssl termination at the hg proxy basically at the proxy itself yeah so let us begin so our on kubernetes we'll go to the official documentation and we'll do the harbor installation and configuration right as uh, you can see the latest version available as of now is 2.10 We'll go directly to the deployment using the Helm chart. So these are the prerequisites. Um, yeah, so the main thing like it should be having a storage class. The cluster should be having a storage class where you can create the PVCs by itself. So the command to download the Helm chart is this. I already have run this too. So I'll show you now in my terminal. So and this is the harbor directory. So I'll go to the harbor. And yeah, I have made some changes to these values.yaml. So I'll show you the difference first. So as I have said, like I have updated the type to node port from ingress and tls abled and the certificate source also i have updated from auto to none and the secret name uh, it says is and the node port i have configured a specific port for this and the external url as what i wanted here in this one okay, let's open the file for once So this is the file as the type is not put. I'll show you the numbers, line numbers. It will be easier for you. Yeah, so line number four type is not put. And here this TLS I have disabled. You will read this so you'll come to know. We don't require TLS. And the certificate source also is none now since we disabled the TLS. And now the last thing is the node port i also have configured the node port a specific port here for the http 80 service and yeah the external url this is the external url you need to configure it to your own uh, url whatever domain you want to put for harbor okay so let us install it so we can go ahead and see the command for the installation and install hyphen have a name and it is a slash okay for helm 3 actually we are using helm 3 now i will show you some details so keep it to get notes uh, we'll see the kubernetes version is this 1.27 okay Helm version also let's see i am using version 1.3.40 so I have Kubectl version. The client is 1.28.5. Okay. And now what else? Kubectl. It word I guess the cluster is empty. Yeah, I mean this. Yeah, this is also fine. That's clear. So let us do the installation. And install. Harbor. Uh, okay, let's um, come back to one directory. And whatever you are seeing in the example, we'll use that. I'll install Harbor. Harbor directory, and I think they have configured a specific file, so I'll put its name. That is Harbor dot install. Okay. So let's begin. 
okay it says first upload today and please wait for several minutes let's see the ports okay let's wait for a while that takes a bit of time put it on watch i already have configured my domain for the stls termination i already have put my certificates at place and the proxy so yeah let's just wait for this job okay now all seems to be working now, now let us try opening the url ever okay so okay also i'll show you one more thing uh the password HTML no, I have used that install right Barber install file. Oh, the password. The default password only I am using. It is Harbor one two three four five. Okay. So let's go and check the username and the password is Harbor one two three four five. Okay, right. This shows invalid username and password. So let us check what exactly the error is here fail to load resources the server responded with the status of 4034 bid error right so the other thing is uh, we need to change something in the values yaml file basically so the domain whatever we have put in right one sec external url right so basically we need to remove this from here because of this only i'm getting that forbidden error 403 as we have seen here right with this credentials i'm not able to log in right but we have seen this is the actual credential what is required so now i will uninstall it Yeah, and let's install Harbor. Okay. PVC is also we will delete. Okay. PVC even if and all. So anyways, this is an isolated environment for me. The testing out. So careful while running the hyphen even all commands anywhere. pvc deletion takes down sometime well, let's see if any pod is there or not okay that is one let's check for the pvcs okay they are also gone and also we have updated the file okay now again i will do the installation i'll install I'll install okay this is the command i'll run it now okay now uh, let's see the pods let's wait for a while mm -hmm. also we can see the service also here this is the output service which i have configured from the values file itself yeah okay this will come up in a while meanwhile let us see here if we are able to open okay yeah this sounds to be working now let us put the credential one two three four five okay harbor one two three four five okay yeah so here we are successfully able to log in right and installation is successfully completed and that's it for today 
Thanks for watching.